Okay, I just got my new tires in. I've got them outside baking in the sun to get soft. I'm all done messing around with these front tires on this uh, Cub Cadet garden tractor here. They're 21 years old. I put new tubes in them and they still went flat. So I got two brand new tires and I'll uh, show you how I'm going to do that. I've already put new ones on in the back. And then when I get done with this, I'm going to do a liquid tire fill of the rear tires. So I'll be back in a little while. Okay, we've got the tire and wheel off. It's like my uh, what used to pass for kingpins are long gone, the bushings. I'm going to take you over there to the old Harbor Freight tire machine. and That's not even bolted to the floor and show you how easy it is to bust them down. I'll be back. I'm going to uh, show you the Harbor Freight tire machine. As you can see, I've had it for years. I've done countless tires on those, including the same tires that are on my truck. I didn't put that particular set on, but I've changed a bunch of those 16-inch tires, no problem. Of course, the machine was bolted to the floor. Now it's just sitting there. And uh, these tires are falling right off. Get my tire iron, pop them off. That machine's a handy little gadget, I'll tell you. I've used that so many times. I even have the attachment that does uh, motorcycle tires. And I got the bubble balancer for that too, which actually works pretty damn good. All right, I'm back in a little while. Hard to film in here now the way the light's coming in. Okay. That tire fell off the rim so easy by the time I thought to watch record myself doing it, it was done. I'm going to take the rim over to the sink, hit it with a little steel wool, clean it up. I've got new valve stems. That's the new tire, which is about a million degrees, nice and soft. I'm going to get ready to put that on. So far, this is a piece of cake. I'll be back. Okay, I apologize. Uh, I started cleaning the rim and soaped the rim down and put in a new valve stem and soaped the tire. And the next thing you knew, I had the tire on it, fell right on, and I, I forgot to film it. A piece of cake. They're super flexible. That tire's been out in the sun for about five hours. Uh, it looks like it's sitting on the rim pretty good. Let's see if she'll pop without me strapping it. Let's see what happens. Take the valve. Oh, that. That's it, just that easy. Slipped right on. Might slip right off too. I gotta go get the valve. Alright, I'll be back when this is completed. You didn't miss much. These tires are super pliable. They were getting them really hot is a big plus. Plenty of soap on them and they, they fall right on. Nothing to it. Alright. Okay, there's the new tire all mounted with air in it. I'll do the other side tomorrow. It took about a half an hour with cleaning and filling and demounting and it's about a one beer job. I'll show you a clip when I got the other side all done with the new tires on it and then I'll uh, go into the liquid tire filling process in another video. That's it for now.